trainer of Genghis Khan. Eddie, this is one of the greatest horses I've ever seen. Thank you. I agree with you. He is, he is a great horse. Now, you raised his mother, Robin Dundee. I know you got her very late in her career. Uh, any similarities between Robin Dundee and Genghis Khan? Well, uh, Genghis is a lot bigger. His, his mother was only about 13 hands and only weighed about, oh, 650 or 700 pounds. She was a lot, tiny little mare. Genghis is a good-sized horse. He's about 16 hands. I'll assume that that's the input uh, from Meadow Skipper. I would think so. Although uh, Robin Dundee has a has a, a half brother by Flying Song that I saw when we were out in uh, Alberta last fall, and uh, he's a big black horse like Genghis. He has size too. I don't know why he's so small. That is uh, rare, as far as I know, as far as the Australian and New Zealand horses are concerned, because most of them uh, do tend to be large horses. Right. They do, especially New Zealand. They have a lot of big horses. Now, I recall uh, Robin Dundee, when you raced her here in this country, she was always outfitted with this white harness. And when Genghis was a two-year-old, you outfitted him yeah, the same way in this right. white harness. That's right. I thought uh, the mare always raced in white uh, harness and hopples, and uh, so was the two-year-old. We raced him that way. How come it was discontinued? Oh, I don't know. Uh, some people didn't like it. and. Well, we just took it off from him, you know. Eddie Cobb, you are no stranger to great horses. You raced the horse back in the early 60s that many people considered the premier pacer of his time, and that was Adios Butler. Is there any similarities, perhaps, in between Adios Butler and Genghis Khan? Well, they're just, they were just, they're just both great horses. Uh, uh, they're different. Uh, Adios Butler was a very high-strung horse. Uh, after a race, he was uh, just, you know, you couldn't, couldn't do anything with him. You couldn't take a picture. You couldn't, uh, he wouldn't stand. He'd just kick the sulky right up over his back. He was a, but once he was back in the barn, he was just the docile like a lamb, you know. Uh, and all the time, he never was high-strung except just when he was racing. I don't think I ever saw a horse that that uh, keyed himself up for a race like he did. You know, he just uh, everything was for that uh, couple of minutes. You know, when he was racing. Well, my uh, two fondest recollections of Adios Butler were first the 157 and four that he did set at Roosevelt Raceway, and I'm still convinced that he could have gone faster than that. I often wondered if you knew how close to the record you were at that moment. I had no idea that uh, he was even going to break the record. Uh, it wasn't planned. It was just something that happened. He could go a lot more than that. I, the horse uh, eventually did get a record of 55 and three on a half mile track. And uh, I think he could have even beaten that. I think that he was capable. There's no question in my mind that uh, he never went for records. Every record he ever went for, he got it the first time he went for it. He went for the mile record on a mile track and uh, got one 54 and three. And uh, uh, Brett Hanover, who broke the record later, uh, he went about 10 or 12 times to break uh, 54 and three, and finally. Just got the right day and the right track and everything just right, and he did break it. Well, Genghis has already uh, surpassed 154 and three. He's down to 152 and four. Any thoughts as to whether he could possibly beat that? I think he's capable uh, uh, with the right conditions. I think that uh, I really, I'm sure he is because uh, he went 53 and one here, and he was. Uh, two wide on the first turn and three wide around the last turn and had no cover. He was just out in the air, you know, and uh, that's the greatest mile he's ever gone, uh, in my opinion. Eddie, I'm going to have to break for a commercial, but before I do that, I'm going to ask you one quick question. When did you dare to think you had a horse as great as this? Well, I, I always knew he was a great horse, but uh, uh, I always felt he could pace in uh, about 53 and a half. I always was sure he could do that. And uh, I didn't, I guess, dare think that he could, could go any faster. But, I mean, I knew that he could do that. And uh, I knew eventually he would. But, uh, of course, it's always nice to have him go faster than you think they can, you know. 
I'm sure it is. Eddie Cobb, trainer of Genghis Khan, Meadowlands, horse of the meeting for 1982. We'll be right back after this.